You guys remember when I said that the Patek Philippe Nautilus was the new standard when it comes to homage watches? Bell and Ross agrees. It's 2.15 p.m. Let's get down to business. Oh man, it used to be the Submariner, right? It used to be the Rolex Submariner. Every company and their mothers made an, a Rolex Submariner homage. If you had an homage watch on your roster, it would look exactly like a Rolex. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore! Now, if your company has an homage watch, it's going to be an homage of either the Patek Nautilus or an AP Royal Oak or some weird monstrous mashup of the two. It's disgusting. So recently on Instagram, when Bell & Ross introduced their new BR05 watch, uh, the response was not as positive as they'd hoped, but the comment section, they had a great time. Let's take a look. Wads says, looks like an Audemars and a Patek fornicated. Can we say fornicated on YouTube? I don't know. Demonetized. Ron Fridon says, the new Bell Nautilus. Accurate. Peanut P simply said, joke? Mr. Dim Sum, uh, Mr. Dim Sim, excuse me. Dim Sum, man, I could go for some Dim Sum. I'm just really hungry, guys, okay? Uh, Shu Mai, the little um, flat noodle with like the, the, the shrimp in it. Um, let's see, uh, barbecue pork bun. Oh man, egg tart, chicken feet. Man, get me some of those up in the office. Anyway, Mr. Dim Sim says, new Nautilus. It does kind of look like a new Nautilus. Saboro, <laughs> Sparo, man, I'm just really hungry. Sparo. Sporo says, uh, his name is Sporo Orotonogo. Sporo Orotonogo, very cool name, probably butchered it. He just says, poor man's Patek. Okay, can you really blame these guys? Because when you look at the, they have a picture, okay, uh, with some guy holding a motorcycle helmet. When you just glance, it looks like he's wearing an AP on his wrist, okay? These guys are spot on. The kind of industrial, Genta-inspired design. Genta-inspired is just a nice way of saying they ripped off Genta's design. Apparently, it's got a 40 millimeter case with an integrated bracelet. It looks sharp because it looks exactly like an AP and a Patek. Just an, an amalgamation, okay? It looks like an alchemist did a spell, took took the AP, okay, AP in this hand, took a Patek in this hand, now kiss. Now the majority of ones we see in all the media photos are of the stainless steel, uh, but it does apparently come in an 18 karat rose gold, and uh, yeah, again, it's just gonna look like an AP Royal Oak Patek Nautilus. But the really, really sad thing, okay, like the most upsetting thing of all is that judging by Bell & Ross's marketing, they were very excited about this release. They thought it was super duper innovative. They thought it was just the most exciting thing to happen in watchmaking this year. They were wrong. Like how just incredibly oblivious do you have to be to think that you wouldn't be called out for this, right? I mean, Bell & Ross, it looks exactly like two of the most prolific luxury sports watches on the market right now. You didn't think anybody would make a comment about that? I've heard people even complain that it looks like a Cartier Santos, and I definitely see that. It's just, it's incredible to me. Bell & Ross has the ability to make a decent wristwatch. They should have just invested a little bit more time and a little bit more capital in developing a truly unique design, okay? You don't need to bite off, oh, Genta inspired. I threw open my mouth. But guys, talking about missing the mark and being wrong, I could have missed the mark on this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you kind of see what I'm talking about here? Um, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're new here, if this is your first time joining us here at the Time Teller channel, then click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. If YouTube does its job, you'll be notified every time we upload here at the Time Teller channel, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with a live stream Q&A every single Saturday, rain or shine. Don't miss out because I look forward to that live stream every single week. It is so much fun. And uh, yeah, I love hanging out with you guys. So please click the dang bell icon. And if you wanna go above and beyond, check the links in the description below. You got my Amazon store. We got some modern watches, some watch straps, some watch winders, some watch toolkits. Everything I use should kind of be at that store. So check it out. And when you shop there, um, it helps the channel out a bunch. And then if you really wanna go above and beyond, um, check out the timetellershop.com. Every vintage luxury watch there has been handpicked by me. I've seen it. 
I've worn it, you know, just to, yeah, just to give it a little test drive. And uh, yeah, it's been inspected by myself. It's been inspected by my team of professional watchmakers. It is T3 certified. It is serviced with a one year warranty check out that shop. But yeah, guys, uh, if, you, if you had fun, like, comment, subscribe, share this with other watch collectors, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Real quick, if you enjoyed this episode, then do not worry. The fun doesn't need to stop here. Check out these recommended episodes that are going to be popping up on the screen anytime now. Also, take a moment, check out my brand new channel, the Time Away channel. It's where I talk about everything outside of the watch world, some of my other collections, some of my other hobbies. And if you're not interested in any of that, don't worry. Just stay right here, and I will see you right here. Because I, I never leave. I am trapped inside of this camera. Easy.